Wow. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Da, 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 da. Can't go too many. Can't go too much. Because you already know YouTube is on the warpath. They demonetize every video I have because I sing, y'all. And y'all know I got to sing. <laughs> y'all already know. Because it keeps me from going mad. Right? And every video I do is demonetized. So, my God. I mean, if you like the content, just make a donate a donation to the channel. Whatever it is. Watch the commercials that they play. The ads. I know they're boring. But <laughs> they are on the... <laughs> YouTube is on the warpath. Because I want to say... Since they're going to demonetize it anyway. If it makes you cry, cry, cry. And all you do is fine. You can't get no sleep at night. Ooh. Anyway. Take that. Anyway, good morning, afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. This story really bothered me today because um, it's so sad. And it's just a testament um, of how, you know, wow, we are on the edge. We are such on edge as a group. Anyway, climate activist, 50 years old, he died after lighting himself ablaze in front of the Supreme Court on Earth Day. Wrote 422. 2022 and a fire emoji in a Facebook post from 2020. So he planned it, obviously. I mean, why? These fuckers ain't going to change anything about how they, way they do in business. That's why I had to listen for your own sake, for your own mental health, for your own mental health. You have to just get to the point where you say, the world is falling apart. Oh, fucking well. I don't care. I done gone broke. I done lost houses. I done been through, um, I done lost vehicles. I done lost loves. I done lost family members. I, at some point, for your own mental health sake, you have to be able to say that's, that's life. And I don't give a damn. At least that's what it seems like. And that's the way I have to present it. Because otherwise, I'll go ballistic. Okay? And I don't want to end up like this guy right here. I mean, this climate activist who died. And I'm sure this cause that he's fighting for is a cause that's near and dear to his heart. But, uh, it, it, it you know, I mean, he, they say he's a Buddhist who hinted at the future of self-immolation with a fire emotion, emoji way back in 2020. And so he did it. He lit himself on fire on the court's plaza around 6.30 p.m. on Friday. He suffered critical burns and was pronounced dead at the local hospital. Good God Almighty. On October, again, on October 30th, he shared a link to an online class on climate change and offered by edX, a free online course platform created by Harvard and MIT. And then last April, he went back and commented, 4114, uh, 422, 2022. Surveillance footage of the immediate aftermath of the fire show police officers as they attempt to try to calm Bruce who can be heard screaming in the background. Police were still investigating the motive, but a Buddhist priest from Boulder took to Twitter to clarify that Bruce's death was not a suicide, but a deeply fearless act of compassion. Jesus Christ. The guy was my friend. He meditated with our Sangha. This act is not a suicide, said the Zen priest. 
This is a deeply fearless act of compassion to bring attention to a climate crisis. We are piecing together info, but he had been planning it for almost a year. Uh, hashtag Win Bruce, I am so moved. Bruce's Facebook page has since been indonated with comments both praising his actions and criticizing his way of bringing attention to this cause. How can you solve the climate crisis when you leave in the middle of the fight? Now you can't do anything to be helpful, one person wrote. Another angry, another person wrote, I see he was a fighter for his beliefs and that may have contributed to this tragedy. That, you know, I mean, no one else was injured. Authorities had to temporarily close two roads as a helicopter EMS crew attended to the medical emergencies. Although she confirmed the 252-foot oval plaza had been closed to allow for investigation, she did say the incident was not a public safety issue. Jeez. They got this in May 2019. Another man set himself on fire in the White House with terrifying footage showing him engulfed in flames. Oh my God, you guys. Jesus Christ. God, heaven help us all. Heaven help us. Heaven help your children. Oof. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go. Because it's just so sad. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share it to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.